Hey everyone, Sarah here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today, we'll talk about how to fix the engine fault code P2004. Here's what it means. The engine fault code P2004 signifies that the intake manifold runner control for engine bank 1 is jammed in the open position. The intake manifold runner control system plays a major role in maximizing the efficiency and performance of your car's engine by regulating air intake in the engine. An open system can significantly compromise your vehicle's performance, emission output, and fuel efficiency. Here's what causes it and how to solve the issue. Defective IMRC Actuator the IMRC actuator is designed to regulate how the intake runners are positioned. A defective actuator may cause the runners to become jammed in the open position, resulting in the P2004 fault code. You can resolve the issue by replacing a malfunctioning IMRC actuator with a new one. Faulty Intake Manifold Runner Control Solenoid the IMRC solenoid regulates the vacuum flow to the IRMC actuator. If the solenoid fails to operate properly, it can lead to the emergence of fault code P2004. To resolve fault code P2004, you should install a new IMRC solenoid. Wiring Problems Wiring problems can disrupt signal transmission to the IMRC actuator. Wiring issues may result in a short or open circuit, which impedes the IMRC system's functionality. Examine the wires for any signs of fraying or defects. Then, repair or replace wires as necessary. Here are the symptoms of the error code. If the intake manifold runner control is jammed in the open position, you could encounter a range of noticeable symptoms. These symptoms are diminished engine performance, decreased fuel economy, and intermittent surging of your car's engine. Here's how to diagnose the error. Visual inspection. A thorough visual examination of the intake manifold and associated parts can help pinpoint problems that trigger the P2004 code. This may entail examining the various parts, such as the IMRC actuator, IMRC solenoid, control valves, and wires for any indications of defects or detachment. Check for vacuum leaks. To find leaks in the intake system, you can employ a vacuum gauge or smoke machine. For the smoke test, inject smoke into the system and then pinpoint leaks by watching for areas where the smoke is exiting. Electrical testing. Employ a multimeter to test the IMRC actuator and wiring for continuity and voltage. Thanks for watching.